that shit crack. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be talking about Sun and Gemini, Square, Saturn and Pisces. Now, I do, I'm working from two different screens, so <laughs> I'm trying to figure this shit out, y'all. So bear with me. But um, I'll be recording on IG for a little bit here, and then I'll stop it and finish the rest of the video on YouTube. So if you want the full video, you want to follow me on YouTube, all the links for all my services are in my bio. All right, so Sun and Gemini, Square, Saturn, and Pisces. We could have started feeling this um, on the 23rd, and we'll feel it all the way through to the 31st. Uh, but the actual transit isn't until uh, May 26th to the 28th. Um, the mutable signs will feel this the most, which are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces. Um, this is the first square to Saturn since, uh, from the sun since Saturn's been in Pisces. So we have to look at the last time we had this energy, which was about a year ago, February to be exact. Um, the sun Saturn, uh, there was a sun Saturn conjunction. Um, this was highlighting new sacrifices, um, commitments and goals. And the sun Saturn represents, uh, maturing, growing up, becoming aware of what we need to do. Um, so what goal did you commit to last year? Uh, is a good question to ask yourself or sit down and reflect on um, to see what the process and progress is. And if you need to change anything, add anything, get more education. Saturn is about mastering your skills. Um, and so there could definitely be some element of education here or training um, or becoming a teacher, fully stepping into a role maybe you've completed your education already, right? It's going to be different for everybody. So it's really important to know what house this is going to be playing in for you. And the last time Saturn was in Pisces was the early 90s, 1994 to be exact, between like June and July. I did some research and went back to see um, kind of what changes were happening back then. And so because Gemini rules television news, podcasters, and um, radio hosts, and Saturn rules like the older generation, or people closing things out like retirement, um, and um, new talent coming in, or leaders for the sun, right? Because the sun is like the CEOs, the presidents, um and things of that nature this could be uh leaders retiring and new ones coming in and so um if we think back to that time what was going on between those two months uh larry king retired um we had the star trek fi uh, finale um the FX Network premiered. Um, Howard Stern started his podcast on E. I think it was a show, actually. 
Um, Pulp Fiction won a bunch of awards. And there were new presidents for Africa, Panama, and Dominican Republic. Um, back check that. I don't know if I got that completely right. It might be off, but I'm pretty sure that, that was a thing. There was a lot going on with sports because Mars and Leo is definitely sports stuff. Um, Nelson Mandela was released, right? I think he was in prison. And that was when he got out. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Or he was either becoming the president. I just remember the song. It was like, bring back Nelson Mandela. Bring him back home. Don't act like y'all don't remember that song. I remember being like five around that time. Maybe it was a little bit older or younger. And I was like sitting on my dad's um, shoulders and there was like an event out in Cambridge for him. I think he came to Cambridge. I can't remember if they just had a festival or a celebration for him, if he actually came there. But um, that was that was a thing back then. Also, um, that was the year of the big O.J. Simpson Bronco chase. I know y'all remember that. Uh, because Pisces rules, you know, a mental prison, actual prison, jail time and crime. Uh, well, Mars, and uh, uh, Mars is really the crime. Sorry to be this, this, that would be more of the sun um, as the crime part. But um, Tanya Harding got barred for life from ice skating because of that little thing she had. I know y'all remember that story. That shit was huge. Um, this could also be weather with, uh, the sun and Saturn, Pisces energy in general, mixed with a bunch of different things can be, um, crazy weather, uh, especially because, um, um, Uranus is also activated here that can make things like unstable so the change of the seasons and you putting these energies together it's typically storm season this could also be like volcanoes heat waves storms crazy like record breaking uh, weather you know um and so we can see a lot of these things on the world stage being repeated in some way, shape, or form. Different people, different reasons, right? Um, so what was going on for you back then, if you can even remember? And how have you developed uh, maturity-wise over this period of time? What have you learned? Um, what are you recognizing about your... Um, leadership skills or your light right because sun is about your light your uh path if you will um and how you present that to the world um and saturn is definitely about structures and systems and having things in place to help continue build your gift and your talent Again, it's about mastering your skills and talents, right? And so we can see a lot of these questions coming up for us at this time. You know, it's going to highlight the start of new challenges, right? Because it's the first square. And so these could be challenges that we have to work through because it's mutable energy. It can be a bunch of changes because that's what mutable energy is about the change of the seasons, but changes. It can even be very busy, busy with the mind, second guessing yourself, doubting yourself because it's a square, right? Um, but essentially, it's also like the opportunity to move for uh, the closing of one cycle or since we're talking about Saturn in this way, it's like legacy, uh, passing on the baton, rites of passage. It could be graduations, literally, you know, moving up to the next level of something. 
um, you know, things of that nature could be happening a lot here or opportunities for that could be happening a lot here. And so do you have the sun courage to move into that um, opportunity that's going to be presented with you to you? Um, or do you have to work harder on that opportunity before you could take it? And those will be the things that you'll be challenged with throughout this duration of time. Right. And so you might need to reflect on what your Saturn requires of you. So, again, you got to know your chart and you have to know personally where Saturn is for you and where Saturn is transiting for you, because those things are going to be activated in your chart, asking you the questions and how you work with this energy. Right. Um, and even though this transit only lasts for a few days, just remember, if you track the moon, it moves through each zodiac sign every two days, right? And so it will square, oppose, or conjunct Pisces every time it gets an immutable sign. So this is an ongoing process um, when you learn more and understand more about what astrology is, right? And so I'm going to stop here for IG. Hopefully this gives you guys some good tips to think about if you want more again follow me on my youtube page i love and appreciate you peace all right so i'll let that sit and not disrupt what i'm doing with y'all over here right and so because the moon is going to be in virgo at the time of this transit, it's going to carry the energy of Virgo. If you take that and then think back to a year ago and the energy that that's also bringing with this, um, we're definitely look, looking or tackling post-COVID issues, right? And how we move forward now. So we can see a lot of conversations around work, getting back to work. How do we get people back to work? How do we get people feeling good about going back to work? People going back to work or not going back to work at all. So self-employment, I think, is definitely going to be a really big thing because there are still some people who are like, fuck that damn job. You know, they remember that shit's caught in space and time. And anytime this energy passes over a question about COVID and what happened during 2020, niggas just get mad like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I stayed at this job all this damn time and I ain't got nothing to show for it and I still have to struggle that damn job <laughs> and you got some people who are over it that passed it and they're like hey it happened hell no I don't like it but I know my worth and my value and I also understand and learn throughout this process that you need money to make money you don't have to like it but it is a real thing to the point where they might go back to work of course they're going to look for all the assessments or things that you assess while looking for a job to make it as comfortable as possible, depending on what field you're in, right? Um, but you've got to have a plan this time around. Like, I'm not going in there planning on staying, living my whole entire life at that job because I remember what they did to me. And I remember how I sacrificed enough already by staying there too damn long, which is why I'm still mad, which is why other people are still mad. But you got to go through the healing before you could accept that and or education. Education is going to be key. You're going to have a lot of people trying to learn and educate themselves or teach, depending on what spectrum you're on, around how to start my own business. What can I do to get more stable? Am I going to be able to survive off of that? Um, can I financially secure myself off of that? You know, all those kind of tough questions that we've already been asking ourselves with the stellium of energy and Taurus. Plus, we've had North Node and Taurus since uh, the end of 2021, right? Um, or 2022, 
because I think it's only like a year and some change uh, transit, um, almost two years. So uh, we've been asked and been thinking about this is not necessarily anything new around resources and whether or not we can survive off of the little that we have. And what I like about Taurus is that for one, the hustle culture has changed. So it's different. People aren't going to be like, I'm not going to say not hustling anymore, but they're not going to be hustling and bustle that death culture that's killing us where you're overworking yourself to the point where you don't know when to take a break. You don't know when to stop and reflect, um, you know, um, you know, that impulsive lower vibration of Aries is go, 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 right? Uh, without stopping, thinking, reflecting, taking care of your health, eating right. With Taurus, it's a built, you know, whenever I think of Taurus energy, I always think of um, Little Wayne's song, um, let the beat build, bitch, and let the beat build, bitch. It goes boom. Boom, boom, boom. So we're working smarter, not harder, but we can still be hustlers. You can still have two or three jobs, but you're going to have to structure that to a T. And that's where Saturn's going to come in and it's going to be a constant reminder. Are you doing that? Are you reflecting? Are you stopping and taking care of your health? Check in. Are you taking care of your family? What did you learn from 2020? when you had all that time to learn it and actually accept like, oh shit, my household is really fucked up. Now your house is your actual house and your home, your body and your, your house, right? <laughs> and so a lot of people have changed their diets. Um, they're getting out more and connecting with the earth. Um, you know, um, stopping to smell the roses. Um, connecting with others like there are all different parts of um you know life that you have to contend to other than just work 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 and I think we all kind of got lost in that prior to 2020 or COVID and so a lot of those things people have been working on and now we're steadily as we pick up speed because this Gemini season can be very fast with Mars and Leo. The energy can be very fast, but we're still step by step fast. You know, we're we're building, we're letting the beat build, right? Um, and so it's just a matter of continuously perfecting that. And you won't get it right away. You know, there's always gonna be like uh specific parts to this where you're going to have to stop and come back. But that's just life, right? That's never going to change. That's the process of growing and building. And so um, then we have to look at the sun, right? Because Gemini is in, um, the sun is in Gemini. And so the sun represents the hero shining the light on something. Um shining your light, your desire, and your actions. In the sign of Gemini, it's communication, information, curiosity, intellectual um, conversations, or intellectual learning, even, even um, gathering information and data, ideas, and connecting, socializing, and sharing information, time, and or energy with others. Um, Saturn is limitation, restrictions, identity, self ex uh, self expression, structure, discipline, or the mold of something. Right. So Saturn is an Earth sign, and it's something tangible. So the mold can be something physical that you can touch that you've created, um, but you can see the results in your five senses, right? You can touch, see, smell, feel um, in the 3D. Uh, but this is hard in Pisces. Saturn has a hard time being as strong as Saturn can be in Pisces. And so it's going to be 
um, some serious difficulties. It could be health. It could be addictions that get in the way, the victim mentality that overtakes, um, the, uh, um, um, I want to say, I, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of, but docile, um, when somebody is just, um, naive, really, really, really naive, um, to the world and the stresses of the world. This could be lack of direction, feeling loss, um, not knowing, you know, what the future holds, uh, these kinds of, of things can get in your thoughts, in your mind and kind of, um, like, um, affect your progress, your forward progress. People can really, really be second guessing and doubting themselves. Um, but Saturn is going to help you get more structured, a mold of something at the end of this transit, you will have something solid to say, this is what I got from this transit. It could be a spiritual practice. It could be, um, getting help. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but anytime you have an energy like this, it's always going to show up on the lower vibration because it's, it wants to challenge you to be your best. So you can be receiving a lot of limitations and restrictions to your light, uh, your spiritual beliefs and practices, um, your forward movement on your goals. But it's only because Saturn wants you to look at it master it and do it the right way. Um, so unfortunately, this can bring up conversations that highlight double standards because uh, both uh, Pisces and Geminis are double body signs, right? Uh, that can look like contradictions, confusion, manipulation of facts, data, and fa a false representation of data and information and things. So I think this is definitely coming up in the news, especially if you're somebody who's thinking about going back to work, make sure they're not selling you a dream when um, that's not, it's not, it's not real, right? But that's why I think going into this, this time, people are going to have a plan. Like nobody's signing up to go to work no more just to, to do a nine to five. People are like, no, I want legacy. I want to build security for my family and my future, especially with Mars and Leo. This is very family oriented with Taurus and still in the North Node until the end of the year, even though it's still changing, we still got one more thing. Uh, in Vedic astrology, Taurus is also family. Um, Saturn is about legacy, legacy building, again, passing things down. You can't pass your job down to your children, right? And so what will you be slow building when it comes to security over these next few years with this energy that's helping you build this tangible thing? right? So that you don't have to worry anymore, or you don't have to go to work no more. At the very least, if you are working, you're doing something that you love without a shadow of a doubt to the point where it's not making you feel less than. So we're not going to be job shaming here. There are some people who like, like, I don't want to fucking own no, no business. Okay, fine. Make sure you're taking some of that money that you're getting from work to buy into something, allow your money to grow for you so that you can still have something to not have to worry just in case, right? Because we can clearly see the downfall of a lot of these positions. We can clearly see that they're trying to implement AI, like they are trying to get rid of the human element. Let's not be naive. Uh, Saturn and Pisces or Pisces energy to the fact that these things are really happening in life and you should probably want to do something about that. I'm not saying worry. I'm not selling that. I'm not going to say that, although this can be um, something that comes up for people. They might be very worried about their future, fearful even. Um, but nonetheless, like, um, it's about learning how to secure yourself and getting honest about what you have to do to do that. Um, so we really have to be mindful of what, you know, we're negotiating during this time. 
and what we're seeing on television and being told even from governments and even legal aspects and things of that nature, uh, we have to use discernment and use our third eye when looking at these things during this time because they're definitely trying to sell you a dream as fucking usual. I also think this could be things around um, the shot and hearing more about, you know, death rates and again, the aftermath of how that has um, destructed a lot of job fields um, and different kinds of uh, different careers. So um, we also have to look at Mercury, right? Because Gemini is ruled by Mercury and it's still in Taurus. And so hopefully by this point, because it's direct now, you've gotten some clarity around your finances, resources, security, values, your needs, self-esteem, and health. Um, so that you can start to work on those continuously, right? A new phase of that is trying to show itself to you or present itself to you to get a little bit more concrete. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be false news around finances in the news. Um, Pisces are things that are happening in the subconscious, um, things that you can't see. It's happening when you're sleeping. It's hidden or missing, right? And this can be on a personal level, too. So the subconscious is the t watching the television, the subliminal messages that they send out, um, especially with Gemini, it's documents, information. And Jupiter's being the ancient ruler of Pisces expands these things. Jupiter is also law and global issues. So again, we can see a lot of this stuff happening in the um uh in other countries already, right? But the subconscious play is the little things that they're doing, like I seen a commercial, because Gemini's commercials, um, with the Oculus. And they're selling how you can get active on the Oculus and it's fun. Or um, ETMs, which is where you put cash in to get a card. And cashless, um, the Fed now stuff, right? They're throwing out all these little subliminals just to subconsciously start to train your brain to get used to this stuff because it's coming. You know, they have the debt ceiling where they're supposed to be making some kind of final conclusion about a lot of these things by June 1st. And I'm particularly not excited about seeing what the fuck they have to say about that, but whatever. Um, this could also be war. Um, not so much Saturn. Um, not even so much uh, Gemini. Well, Sun and Gemini could totally be things around war. These are your foot soldiers. So soldiers, it could be talking about children because Gemini is childhood education. Um, this could be education, things around childhood education and how those things could be changing. I think a lot of people are going to start homeschooling, to be quite frank. Um, but... I think they're going to just start to sell convenience with these things. Um, or there's going to, they'll create another problem like with the banks, but they'll be like, oh yeah, you know, the banks are crashing, but we're here to save the day with this product. You know, <laughs> they're so famous for doing that. Um, unfortunately, there can be uh, new rules, regulations, limitations, and restrictions that are shocking, and how that's going to affect how we shop, travel, and have access to resources. I can't imagine that that's coming just yet, but it's not too freaking far off. Um, um, yeah. And then we have to look at the square, right? So squares bring tension, obstacles, and adjustments. Again, Gemini rules curiosity, um, intellectual communication, learning, studying, teaching, gathering information, exchanging ideas, engaging in interactions. Um, mm, Is 
This could also be with siblings. neighbors or vehicles, even buying cars. I have heard that there's been some, I think they like raised the the prices, um, the insurance rates, that's what it was. Uh, we could be hearing more stuff about that. Um, no, not the insurance rates, the, um, The financing, that's what they hire, the financing rates. Um, mm, that's going to be interesting. We'll see. Um, I'm thinking Uber is going to become really big again. People might stop driving or um, start riding bikes, walking, taking public transportation. Hell, we could hear something about public transportation come up in a pretty big way. Um, with this energy, um, mm, working with your hands, uh, skills that require your hands or, um, train, uh, trainings like vocational trades, trades, that's the word. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot more people dropping out of college, not wanting to go to college, but taking training programs or trades are going to be really huge, especially with Aries moving into the North Node. I'll be doing the North and uh, South Node switching from Aries to Libra soon. I feel like I already did something on it, but maybe I didn't. I can't really remember. But um, that's going to be very, very interesting. Um, Saturn, again, is identity, self-expression, structure, discipline, limitations, and restrictions. Pisces is your imagination, your compassion, and intuition, um, your spiritual beliefs and practices, your health. Um and your faith um and so i think we're going to be confronting our emotional boundaries around our dreams and visions our creativity our imagination um our future goals this is giving me um uh, spirituality versus practical spirituality becoming one. I think I've talked about this vaguely before. I have to go back and look through my videos because I feel like I did do a video on this. I might do something else talking about this because I think this is going to be really, really huge with Saturn being here. I think there's a disconnect between what spirituality is and people then don't think about what practical spirituality is. And I think it's a good time to have this conver this conversation, especially when it comes to your gifts and how you present those things to the world. Um, I think we're going to see things around censorship, around freedom of speech, Gemini, and information, Gemini. Um, Saturn might make this a little more heavier and challenging to stay optimistic. Um, we can feel limited, blocked from expressing ourselves. Um, we can feel criticized and judged, even discrimination. I think there's going to be big time um, discrimination when it comes to work. And people trying to get a job, especially if you're like not this whole idea about having the shot can come up. It could also be things like um, discrimination around your, again, your religious or spiritual beliefs. And then like like other times, and I know I've talked about this in other videos, where there can be things around borders or immigration or not being able to travel 
Um, but that whole immigration thing is that they let other people come in, into this country from other countries and they they suck, soak up all the resources and there can be something going on there. Um, but the reason that they do that is because we have to remember it's voting, um, right? Voting, is that is it this year? I know it's coming up. I don't really follow it enough to talk about it, but just paying attention, they do the same thing all the freaking time. And so they need those immigrants to come here to vote for them because they know the people here are tired of their bullshit. And we're not holding, we're not going to be upholding them and doing what they want. But if they let the immigrants here, what they do is threaten those people when they come here and say, you know, if you don't follow this, 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 we'll send you back type of thing. And so they keep this country's um, dream alive. Right. And so I think we can see a lot of things with that coming up at this time. You can also experience difficulties with expressing your thoughts or negotiating around what you will and will not accept. So be remember, be mindful of that. I try to get the best out of anything if you're going back to work um, to uh, get as much money and comfortability as possible. That way you can, again, set up a plan so that you don't have to stay there. And I think, again, that practical spirituality and spirituality is going to be a good time to have this conversation because I think what we're all going to begin to see is that that block again where you can only get so far. Even if you're self-employed, it's still like working for a job if you don't have a team, if you don't have the capital to grow and expand. I talked about this before, right? And so, you know, that's going to become a really big problem for us because none of us want to invest. We're all afraid of investing. So you got to get over your fear when it comes to what it need, what it's going to take for you to expand just in case you you lose your job. Um that's uh, yep so anyway uh i feel i i think that's going to be a really big problem um you can be doubting yourself i feel like i said that questioning your creative process um another thing to study is systems and processes and structures so saturn again you want to know what saturn actually really is um, it's not just leadership, knowing how to be a boss, responsible and maturity. Um, Saturn is a system and structure. This country is ran off of a system and structure. It's ran off of their agenda though. So you have to build your own system and structure. The one thing that keeps coming up in my mind when I think about this spirituality and practical spirituality is looking, you always want to look back at the past at what other people in your same situation who are now successful have done. And so for me, that's the spiritual community. And what I love about Brother Rich and them, Red Pill and Blue Pill and um, a whole bunch of other different people that I follow, I've been watching them since 2012 um, for a really, really, really long time. And they started off like that too, where we're having this argument around what spirituality is and what it means to be working for somebody and how that's like selling yourself, right? <laughs> and I think in the beginning, it was all of that, right? The, the learning and um, studying of what that really was. But even just recently, you can see how they've grown and expand because they started investing. They started to learn that system and structure through spirituality. And, you know, I can go on and on, but I think with just saying that little bit, you can begin to understand us as a Black people, as spiritual people, we don't like money. To us, it's very dirty. Another really good example, because Taurus energy to me is Black Wall Street. If we just think back to then, do you think that Black Wall Street didn't consist of them bringing in income? You know, so we really have to get to the root of our disdain with money. And I don't want to take it away from people like to say, oh, it's 
that what you're saying is not real. But when you're healing, you can't talk about this during Scorpio season. You can't hide under it to get through the healing. You can't scoop over on the side. You know, nothing, God's not magically going to come here and save you. <laughs> you know, God is working through you. The word, the key word here is through. You have to work through your healing. You can't skip any parts. And so when you think about that concept, even in the 3D that we're all so spiritually like the 3D's lame, you got to get out of the 3D. No, you live here. <laughs> so the, the goal is to bring heaven to earth, which is the 3D. How are you doing that? Well, when you get strong enough in your healing, you get grounded, but you can see things from a higher perspective. Uh, you're not as judgmental or closed-minded or narrow-minded. Now you know that, first of all, uh, just because somebody has a job doesn't mean that they wasn't spiritually led to that position. Like we all are souls, right? And maybe not everybody's going to be super woke and, you know, all ooh, 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 good for you, okay? <laughs> but that is not the consensus of everybody. You have to be really ignorant. And I'm not trying to talk about anybody in a um, degrading sense. I mean, ignorant, like literally what the word means. You have to be really ignorant to think that half the population at work doesn't doesn't know that they're struggling or you know what I'm saying? Like there's no spirit there where they actually fucking want to be there or that they're choosing to do that because of any other reason besides the fact that they're blind, their third eye is not open um, or they just haven't reached that information or they haven't reached their tired point, right? Because we know when you're here on earth, we all go through struggles and we continue going through those struggles until we get tired enough to say, you know what, I'm done. Everybody has their limit, right? And so I think it's kind of ignorant of us as spiritualists or spiritual people to say that, you know, those people in those positions are, claim are complaining and they're victims and again, it's very true that they are. This is very Pisces energy, right? Um, it's true that they are, but not by way of just that's what it is or they're dumb or they're, that they want to be there. Uh, there are spiritual people who have jobs and work in some of these places. But what, like how I tell my stories, I became Harriet Tubman. <laughs> that's my, that's who I call myself. I learned the craft. I went into prison intentionally to break motherfuckers out. I didn't get them all. I got five, but hey, that's that was that's it for me. That's my legacy. I'm going down in history for that with or without your fucking permission or your praise or your fucking thank you or your kudos. <laughs> like that, I know I was spiritually led to do that right guns in here i have my book too i have my green book that i showed if you watch my ig thing yesterday like i meant the fuck out of everything that i did when i went to work at that prison like i'm going in there to wake up at least 20 of these motherfuckers okay bitch they're gonna know they're gonna remember my name when i get out of there right and so I use that example to say like not everybody who works at a job is quote unquote sleeping or not being spiritually led because they understand the bigger picture that we are here to create heaven on earth. You have to help your people through your talent, right? Waking them up through your talent, right? That's what my teacher does. So um, the teacher that I talked about in that IG video, she works at Northeast northeastern university as a um i think she's in the african-american studies she's been doing that job for years and she still has her own business a lot of her clients are students from her classes right and so you know i think there's a level of that spiritual conversation that's kind of um needs to mature 
and grow and be broadened because even in that sense, they're struggling financially. If you talk to a lot of those people, they'll say, yeah, um, money's not everything. I don't have to have a job. I can, I, I know how to manifest, right? And so money just comes to them by way of them listening to their spiritual guides. Okay, cool. Where's the legacy in that? Where's the security in that? Where's the protection of your business, your craft and your study, you know? And so this is Saturn. Those things that I named are Saturn. Where's your systems and structure? How do you expand to reach a, a wider audience? Um, it can be very narrow-minded for you to do that in that sense. And if you're happy, you know what? Fine, it's not going to be for everybody. But, you know, to grow and evolve out of this blockage that we can seem to only get this far, I think is something that we need to break free from. And it's not going to be for everybody, but for the people who are up for the challenge, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's what Saturn is going to be asking of you. Um, I'm getting ready to do the June astrology. I don't think I'm going to do a video, guys. It's a lot of work and it really drains my energy, but I'll do like a little post like I've been doing on my IG page to show what transits are for the month of June. Saturn turning retrograde is one of them. So if you think what I'm saying right now is a joke, people are going to start to feel the squeeze of not having enough money to survive with all the prices rising and things these things are happening to help expand you they're not happening to you but to expand you and help you grow and evolve into this understanding right so boom there you go there's my spirit spiritual conversation versus practical spirituality it's a huge huge problem that we have to break free from and so um, I think we'll see a lot of these things coming up at this time. Um, so this could be like a new mature sense of self, you know, having, we can see, um, this could also be having trouble meeting deadlines and timelines and logical thinking. Saturn's going to hold us accountable for the things that we are writing, saying, and posting, Gemini, right? Because um, because I could doesn't mean I should, right? And so being mindful of how we're judging people and how we're speaking about people, being degrading and judgmental, um, we can receive instant karma for those types of things. Also being account accountable, responsible, um for your actions and your decisions that's going to be huge especially because chiron's still in aries and again we have the aries um north node uh, i think that's going to be in june too as a matter of fact so or, or is it july it might be july either way it's 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 coming <laughs> right and so we're going to start to um, want to be more accountable and responsible for the decisions that we make. A lot of people can be having some super awakenings about how immature they have been when it comes to their decisions and the purposes and reasons behind what they're doing that. And unfortunately, and nine times out of 10, it's going to be around the connections, the people, your family, siblings, um, you know, where did you get those things from? Nine times out of 10, it's around the people that you hang around, um, where you learn these things. And we're going to be challenged to think about that and change our ways. Overall, it's great to see this as an opportunity to grow, over overcome limiting beliefs, self-imposed prisons, it's going to be a sacrifice somewhere in this, you know, so you might have to go back to work no matter who you are, even if you don't admit it out loud, because it might get too tight, too constricting, right? Just remember that Saturn wants you to have a plan. He wants it written out. What small goals are you going to do every single day to accomplish your bigger goal? Um, 
What are you going to learn additional to help you expand and grow in your leading um, role? Um, organization, patience, and being flexible are going to be your keys to getting through this time and seeking out help and um, having people that you can talk to, like mentors, therapists, parents, obviously of like mind, um, coaches, and you know, things of that nature, gurus and things of that nature. So, I mean, I feel like in the moment, if you're not doing the work, this shit's going to feel devastating. You are gonna feel like there is a rock on you and you cannot like between a rock and a hard place this is exactly what this is going to feel like you know because you're going to see the potential but you don't see the pathway um and you you nine times out of ten need to learn something from somebody else um and that's just the bottom line you there are no shortcuts you gotta go through it not around it um that's going to be the hardest part depending on what you want out of life. Maybe you could give two fucking shits about anything that I'm saying right now. And again, kudos to those people. But I'm pretty sure Saturn is going to be challenging you in some very peculiar way that seems very constricting. You're going to have to do something or you're going to fucking lose it, right? So as usual, family, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.